Alrighty, so I've been meaning to make this video. Um, if you have some magazines, uh, preferably something like the Glock magazines, and it's plain, and you kind of want to dress it up, uh, I've seen a lot of videos of guys using crayons and stuff to fill in these little markers that let you know how many rounds are in it, or or the brand or whatever. Sometimes they put the branding on there, um, but I think that would work, but I have a different way of doing it. Um, the only thing you need to do it, and it is permanent, is some fingernail polish of your choice. It doesn't matter really what kind as long as it's a color that you want, preferably something easily seen, high visibility. Uh, some REM oil or any oil of your choice, and uh, some fingernail polish remover. And what you'll do with it is, and of course a couple of towels because you're going to want to use this to wipe everything down. Um, what you'll do is, is you'll take your magazine that you're wanting to paint, make sure it's clean and oil free, and then you will take a fingernail polish brush, the one that it comes with, it works perfect, and you basically just daub it into the creases. You want to put quite a bit on there. Uh, you actually want to make sure that the, the creases and the cuts and the things that you're wanting to put paint in are the engravings are filled. Uh, whenever you're done with it, it'll probably look something similar to this. It looks like a great big mess, but uh, it's really easy to clean up. Um, once you've gotten to this this point and you've got everything covered um, that you want painted, you're just going to take your towel and put a little bit of the fingernail polish remover on there and gently wipe it to the side um, I found that doing it from left to right or right to left works the best because it maintains all of the paint that you want inside the grooves. Um, also, once everything's done, it should look something like this. Um, if you see that and notice that it's kind of like faded or uh, some of the Glock magazines are kind of rough and the leftover paint kind of gets in the small, tiny micro crevices in here you can get more of this on a towel and make sure you wipe everything clean and then afterwards you uh, take the rem oil on a clean towel and wipe the entire magazine down um, even in my finished Glock I noticed that there was like a haze afterwards but this is definitely more permanent than using crayons I don't I would never use crayons I use paint on all of my uh, uh, accenting and stuff so Hopefully that helps. Um, I definitely recommend it. It definitely improves the look from your magazines. Uh, I think it definitely looks cool. So yeah, thanks. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys want to see. Thanks.